Hey, welcome to John's Horror Corner, and I'm John, and today we are going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to do two different demo games. They're both available for free on Steam, and these games were made by a husband and wife in a very, very short amount of time. I believe uh, one of them was made in 48 hours, and that's pretty crazy. So uh, the name of them or the developer or the name that they call themselves is the Deck Lazon. And the first one's going to be the Root Man, and the second game's going to be They Are Here. So I hope you enjoy uh, two games <laughs> in the one video, and uh, thanks for checking it out, and let's get right into it. Hey, welcome back to John's Horror Corner. If it isn't obvious already, I'm John and hashtag Horror Friday. So we're about to dive into this uh, demo game called The Root Man. Uh, it says right here, as you can see on the screen, this is just a short prototype that I created with my wife in 48 hours as part of the Global Game Jam 2023. Uh, in 48 hours that's insane that's I didn't know you can do that uh, that quick um, this got uh, quite a few good reviews and it's a free demo so we're gonna check it out and the uh, plot of the game I gotta come over here and read this uh, realistic first-person body cam horror on October 26 2005 a policeman from the 46th department disappeared in the forest. The found footage from his body camera showed how evil it is in the forest. So 2005, so cameras in this game should be a little bit more updated than the uh, previous games that we played where it took you back in the 80s and uh, the body cam footage was really like VHS static type. So uh, without further ado, uh, we got Lola here. To stick with us and also got my energy drink rain this is not a paid advertisement whatsoever I just really enjoy their uh, energy drinks and all right let's see what we're getting ourselves into all right Ooh, look at that let's see. very uh, high-tech police car just kidding do I have a flashlight yeah and we start off with a flashlight so the last time I was a police officer in the game he did not have a flashlight so that was a little uh, that was not fun for me I'm all about having a flashlight in dark creepy places like this that's pretty loud is that my car running was that a generator? Wow, that's my car. I need uh, I need an upgrade to my vehicle. Oh man. Hello. Ooh, I'm already burping. Hello, anyone out there? Knock knock. It's the police department. Hmm. Okay. Can we go in? Oh, okay. Police, open up. Automatically knocked for me. Police, open up. Let me in. Anything? Oh, okay. All right. This is a police. If you're in here, make yourself. Oh shit! Already. That's not good. All right. Oh. Damn. There's a puddle of blood way over there. Okay. We're gonna leave. Do we want to leave this open? Yeah, we'll leave it open. Oh, man. Okay. And go through there. Yeah, that, uh, that's gnarly. 
Yo, let's call some backup, bro. Uh, this shit's already... This is already a crime scene. We need to call some backup. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's correct. Oh, God. Look at that. Wouldn't you know it? Dealing with witchcraft again. Looks scary and creepy. What's that doing here? Uh, let's not find out, bro. It's the, uh... The, the Blair Witch Project. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. This is a pretty small... House, but... Okay. Oh, here we go. Got a key. Mm, anything else? Anything else? No? Alright. Alright. Hello? Anyone here? Man, this is a really small house. We gotta get to the other bedroom, though. Uh, okay. No jump scares, please. Too early in the game for a jump scare. Hmm. Aha. Yesterday in the forest, I found a strange idol made of roots. Okay. Why did I bring it home? <laughs> I don't know why he brought it home. Now he wants it back. If you are reading this, do not take it in your hands. Uh, I am assuming that was the Blair Witch little figure thing we found in the kitchen. Do not take it in your hands. I don't think we took it. Okay, that's it. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, okay. What happened to the clock? And we hear a phone, but I don't see a phone anywhere. Oh, there's the clock. Ah, there's the phone. Well, look at that old school Nokia, the brick phone. Yeah, I remember these phones. Hello? This was actually my very first phone when I graduated from high school. It was a hand-me-down from my uncle. The only game I could play was Snake. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Oh. oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh my God, that got me. Oh! Oh shit shit. Oh my god. 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 Oh shit. Woo, that got me. Oh. We didn't take it though. The roots are still there. Oh. Can we take it now? Is it because we touched it? Oh god. Okay. Nope. Can't get out. Shit. Okay. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to John's Horror Corner. Thanks for coming to hang out. So today's horror gameplay is going to be a demo that's currently out called they are here it's an alien abduction horror game so the premise is it's a first person horror story about a journalist who witnessed an alien abduction at the gray's wood farm so this game is inspired by such movies as sign dark skies grace field incident the x-files and so forth so all right without further ado let's get right into it Unexplained phenomena occurred at Gray's Wood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family, family bleh, witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they were vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night. 
for five nights. Uh, according to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Yee. All right. Alien invasion. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. So I'm assuming we're the journalist. And we got to go and find what we can find. See what's going on. Task. Talk to farmer Peter Sherman. Oh, roger that. Roger that. Wow. These are some these are some neat graphics. Super neat. I'm just gonna get trying to get used to the controls here. Uh Okay, let's run. Whoa, okay. Press left mouse to take a photo. Okay. Well, look at that. We definitely... Those definitely aren't stars. Okay. This is great material for the news report. That it is. That it is. All right. Sherbin's house. Oh, man. Look at this cornfield. Man, look at the detail on this game. This is amazing. Freaking loving this. Wow. Whoa. Oh shit. Hey. Too soon. Who's out there? Do I have a flashlight or anything? No, no flashlight yet. Okay, got some lights on in the house. It's kind of scouting around. Looks like the door is already open. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. Uh oh. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Oh. So, uh. I'm here by myself. Uh, that's not sketchy as hell. Is there anyone else here? Not working. Oh. Sounds like something's on the other line. All right. Hello. I'm just a journalist here to make my name, Infamous. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. Hmm. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this. Uh, that probably means that you are a crappy journalist. Alright. Um, how about we scope out downstairs first before we go upstairs? That's a loud fridge. Okay. There's a son, wife, and daughter. Okay. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Wow. That's a pretty photo. Okay. Do you have any beer or anything that I can uh, share while I'm doing this? Uh, Investigation of your house all alone? Yeah, thank you for leaving the lights on. Wonder how this door's locked if there's like no lock on the door handle. Alright. Mm, let's check out this little kitchen. Okay. Super squeezed and tight in kitchen. Alright, let's go upstairs. 
Hmm. Ah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Sounded like I heard some footsteps somewhere. Okay. Oh, looks like him and his son in the photo. Members of the Sherman family. Okay. Well, let us go into the drawers. Uh, oh, looks like in the photo, members of the Sherman family. Looks like his son and a dog. Okay. He didn't mention he had a dog. Haven't heard any barking. Okay. You say anything out there? Mm -hmm. So I know I'm supposed to be investigating the house. Oh, here we go. But I'm not too sure. Am I supposed to be looking for something? Notes. Okay. I think I'm just looking for notes. This must be the daughter's room. Oh, it looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh, well, now we know what happened to the dog. Hot damn. That fucking sucks. Did she see the alien kill the dog too? Oh my god, talk about a traumatic experience. Oh, that blows. Alright. Looks like she... Looks like someone can come in from the top. Hmm. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Hmm. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Looks like her running into the crop field. If they're aliens, I thought they're gonna need some type of blanket to get in. Unless she was holding the blanket and dropped it as she got taken out the window. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yeah. Look at that date. November 21st, the year 2543. This is a futuristic game. Definitely some weird noises. Okay. Wonder if they just wonder how long they've been here. It looks like she's still got boxes and she hasn't fully unpacked yet. Weird. There's only two bedrooms up here. Hmm. Pizza box. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, bottomless black, eyes, gray skin, long thin limbs, their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, a severe headache, and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for example in the middle of a field, or on a road, or a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds, and this has affected their physique. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During pal turning palpitation, palpitation, I don't even know how to say that word, palpation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under their skin. No fun at all. Well, there's an open beer. Didn't want to offer me one, right? Uh, all right, nothing, nothing too crazy in here.
photo from the internet, perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. That it does. Oh, man. Photo from the internet. Okay. Well, there you go. Just like the description in the letter. Definitely creepy. Uh-huh. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Sicker when from when I was 15 years old. How can I forget that? Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me they seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Oh man. Take a photo of the diary, okay? This is great material for the news report. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember closing that door. Also, there's only two bedrooms up here. I don't remember seeing a bedroom downstairs, so where does the brother sleep? Oh my god, what's that sound? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Oh my god. Where is your camera? Oh, fuck. Hey, we do have a flashlight. It wasn't letting me use it earlier. Oh shit. Alright. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh <laughs> man. Ah! I'm kind of I'm kind of scared to look around right now. Do we even want to go in here? No lights whatsoever. Okay. Sounds definitely are a little bit different now. I'm scared right now. Okay. Oh shit, now this door's open. Okay. Here's the living room. Okay. There's a bathroom. Let's read let's read this note before we go further. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozen times, but no one could explain the reason of their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure if they implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. No, you're not. 
because, oh shit. Oh, he got it out. And I know that he cut an alien implant. Maybe take it? Yeah, let's take it. Oh, he got it out of himself. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Alright. Probably these animals from Gersville. Man, those things look dead. Yep, dead. And double dead. Stop a VHS player. Oh fuck. Oh man. Gotta love this old school sci fi movie. VHS players. Okay. Oh, God. It's just gonna replay it. I thought maybe we can take it for a story. Alright. Oh shit. What happened to my flashlight? Oh fuck. Oh my god. Woo! Something just walked by the door. Oh man. I think the only place left to go is outside. Is that phone working yet? Nope. Oh fuck you. God damn, that shit scared me. Stupid scarecrow. Alright. Oh shit, now there's more of them. Okay. Oh shit. That's my car. Okay. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Oh man. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Woo! Run, run, run! What the? Is that the little girl's clothes? Why aren't you running? Oh my god. Of course. Typical horror movie. Shit, shit. What's going on? What's going on? Woo! Oh my god! Encounters of the third kind! Oh my god! What are we gonna do? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Go, 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 turn on, turn on, turn on. Let's run them over, run them over. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed both those demos into one video. And thanks for hanging out and getting through. And I don't think I've done this artist of the day yet. But maybe I have. But either way, artist of the day today is going to be Sum 41. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them. I freaking love these guys. They just came out with a new album, I think, earlier this year or... Uh, 
in the later of last year. But either way, check out uh, Sum 41, the video up here on my page. And thanks for hanging out again. And we will see you guys next Friday for the next horror game.